Welcome to another Master Duel solo story. Uh, today we're doing the la Land of the Tenyi. I remember when Tenyi came out, um, I didn't fully understand them. I knew that they were normal, but I didn't understand how to play them. They focused primarily on like normal effect monsters, normal non-effect monsters, let's go with that. But then they had like effect monsters that relied on non-effect monsters. It was weird. Alrighty, so <clears throat> let's get started. Land of the Tenyi. Of Tenyi. Not the. Just Land of Tenyi. In this world, there is a chi that flows naturally through the earth. Chi divides into countless streams, and gathering once more, when the streams swell, the chi takes the form of a dragon. This was called the Dragon Vein, and some warriors used the Chi to form powers and skills at these Dragon Vein deposits. Their disciple discipline was called Ten Yi Style. The innermost secret of the Ten Yi Style. One in harmony with the Earth Chi and, and with the highest physical and spiritual might is able to reach flawless perfection. Hidden in the Dragon Vein is the great power of nature itself. Tenyi style aims to control the power of the Earth without disrupting it, creating a new way for humans to interface with nature. In the long history of Tenyi, there are tales of ones who reached flawless perfection of Tenyi. However, these tales are more like legends. However, there have been a few people, there have been a few people, that's a weird way to say that, who have opened the Dragon Bane and made the step towards perfection. Historical fighters trained endlessly to reach higher levels and pass their teachings down to their students. Currently, there are two young people that obtain the power to manipulate Chi through training. One is a boy who specialized in fist fighting. During his training, he successfully harmonized with Tenyi spirit Adhari, Ahara, the Earth Chi, by injecting the Chi into his fist. The other is a girl, his sister, in, a pr in apprenticeship. She manipulates the flow of Chi using a fan to manifest dragons. There were the water Chi. They were the water Chi, Tenyi spirit Shthana, fire Chi, Tenyi spirit Mapuda and the Wind Chi, Tenyi Spirit, Nahata. She is regarded as the closest to flawless perfection in her generation due to her ability to control three types of Chi at once. These young talents appeared in the same place at the same time and brought new hope to the history of the Tenyi style. That's kind of cool. So there's no, like, enemy for them right now. It's just training. Oh, okay. This might be an enemy. The evil Tenyi. Someone who was obsessed. The Orali passed down and recorded history of the Tenyi style. It is a guide to flawless perfection and training methods that many fighters adopt to reach a higher level. But that is not all. It also tells a fragment tales of conflict over the interpretation of Tenyi. There once, there once a man in the Tenyi style who trained his body to the extreme. His fist is an extension of his bear-like tough body that tried to overpower by use of force rather than achieving harmony with Chi. He was called a berserker for his mind that was not trained as well as his body. One day, the Berserker founded Unrivaled Tenyi, a separate path from flawless perfection. A path of unrivaled power achieved by absorbing the Earth Chi as a source of power instead of harmonizing with it. His philosophy did not hesitate to deplete the power of Chi if it meant he would reach higher power. Deemed a heretic, the Berserker was soon banished with no one to follow his path. That is when mentioned that is when mention of the Berserker vanished from the history of Tenyi. 
Tenyi style belief that the dragon vein is not a tool for strength, but a bridge between humankind and nature. It's actually a pretty nice thought. Unrivaled Tenyi was evidently denounced and used as an example of discipline and the importance of connecting with nature. We must not repeat the mistakes made by the Berserker. To carry the Tenyi style name was to adopt its philosophy as well. But the darkness from the past suddenly returned in front of these children. He had a body that was chiseled like rock and hair coiling like snakes from his head grown two horns. His arms and shoulders were covered in scales, truly a body with a dragon's might. His body was emanating with a sinister aura, a true form of the Berserker. Your flawless perfection is no match against my unrivaled Tenyi. What is this about revenge or simply another challenge? It is impossible to tell which perhaps it was both. The Berserker returned after years worth more than an entire human lifetime. He returned from the past to prove once and for all which of them is superior. The Berserker's return meant their unrivaled Tenyi was once more. To protect the Dragon Vein from misuse, the Tenyi must fight. The boy and girl launched a flurry of attacks to the Berserker who was only known as the Legend, but he was not deterred despite the few hundred strikes they dealt. The strikes did not phase the Berserker. Their attacks merely bounced off of his fortified body. Interesting. I... Seeing that he's like a villain, but they're all in the same deck, I feel like they should have made a separate like villain deck like what they usually do. Like... The Shadal. Of, like, they should make Corrupted Tenny or something like that. Or Unvisor Tenny deck. Something. But they're just straight up in the same deck, so I find it kind of off-putting. Alright, many Tenny spirit monsters have the following two effects. Effects that special summon this card from the hand when they when you do not have an effect monster on field, or effects that can be activated when you have a monster that has no effect on your field, such as the monk of Tenny. Okay. Utilize these effects, combo. Alright. So I can immediately go into one. All Mirage. Interesting. Draw, Tenny. Okay. So this one's a simple one. Um, we easily special summon, because I have no effect monsters. Then we link into the spirit, the earth spirit dude. And because we have him out, we can now... Oh, okay. So he's got a graveyard effect. If you control a face-up, well, you can banish this card from your hand, special summon one to any monster from your deck. Okay, that's good. So we'll do the water, I guess. And then... Use two monsters to link summon. Okay, go into the shaman. This is, I believe, the girl, right? Yep. But she has an effect. Let's discard Tenny Mapura. This effect will special summon a worm from your deck. Okay. Uh, Shaman of the Tenny's effect. Does it matter? Uh, we'll do this one. Use two monsters to link summon. Oh, okay, so it didn't matter. That's a pretty cool effect. I like that. If there are no effect monsters in your monster zone, Draco monster, then you can select the number of effect monsters on your opponent's field equal to the number of non-effect monsters that exist in your graveyard in your monster zone is face-up position. Okay. Cool. So, one, and then just enter battle. This is actually a pretty nice deck. I do like the idea of it, but there is another non-effect deck that I like. Um, I can't remember the name. It was a water deck. It's, you just rely on the 
three copies of it, basically, and then you got tons of equip spells. I can't remember the name of the deck. I'm sure I'll remember at some point. Okay. Oh, that's where we get gay sleeves for this instead of a card. The Berserker has walked away. Neither the fist of the boy infused with the earth chi nor the dragon created. With water and wind by the girl stood a chance. It barely made the Berserker flinch and definitely not enough to defeat it. The battle was a complete defeat for the Ten Yi style. It wasn't even a battle. It was like a swatting away flies to him. But the Berserker could not be loose, sim siphoning all... Yeah, could not be loose, siphoning all the veins power while using the techniques of the Ten Yi style. Someone must stand up and defeat the Berserker. The master places hope in the two young kids. The master tells them two secrets that have never been spoken of. First, the berserker's power is that the chi, that of the chi of darkness. There are lands where anger and vengeance fester and create pools of negative chi. That is the source of the power for the berserker. If you find that location, you shall find out where to find him. He told them of a place regarded as sacred yet forbidden to the Ten Yi. One who truly harmonizes with the dragon vein shall make a step forward, flawless perfection. For you too, as one who encountered the Chi of Darkness, shall receive higher powers with the manifestation of the Dragon of Light. Soon the students left their master to visit the sacred place for the Ten Yi. They overcame many obstacles and arrived at the location where they worked together to prove their worth. The powerful Chi of Light, Ten Yi Spirit Ashuna, appeared as a dragon. It was different from a, any Chi they controlled before. The two do not know the true power of the Berserker yet. When they confront it, the Berserker will perhaps be even stronger than before. In order to defeat it, they must become stronger by acquiring the power of Ashuna, the Chi of Light. Meeting Ashuna is merely the stepping stone to their goal. This is where the two fighters begin the real battle. Interesting. I don't know if there's anything extra after this. I don't... Uh, I think it was around the 10 years coming out, like a year after, that I just kind of dropped off, so there might have been more but i don't really know okay so they gave us two icons that's kind of cool i don't know the berserker looks kind of dumb to me but it might just because his eyes are like halfway down his face so he's got the biggest freaking forehead in the world but i don't know i think the story was fine I feel like there's more that's not being told, but it's fine. Oh, and I love this little filter thing. I don't know what this is. Uh, this is completely different than what I'm used to. Um, what is this? The filter has been reset. Okay, so this will just make it a lot easier for me to find it. Okay, cool. I love it. Anyways. If you enjoyed, please leave a like uh, and subscribe as if you're wanting to keep up with the solo stories that are coming out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good day, night, evening. Either one's fine.